Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new game called Star Crawlers. Star Crawlers is a modern take on a classic CRPG dungeon crawler. It's set in the gritty steam uh, space punk universe. You run a crew of renegade adventurers in the fringes of deep space, taking jobs from megacorps and navigating the intricate politics of wealth and power. What does that mean? Uh, well, the game to me is more of like maybe a Legend of Grimrock, sort of mixed with a... Uh, Maybe, maybe a Firefly, where you kind of take the role as a, a a space pirate or a space scavenger, going through the different things, working your way up, and and having all sorts of fun, finding loot and collections, and getting dealings with people. That's kind of how it feels to me. Uh, anyway, this game is available on March 17th on Steam's early access platform. The game currently, you can see down here, it is Beta 2 Boisterous Bobcat. That is the version that I am playing. Playing. Obviously, it's pre-early access, so there are there are bugs if anything happens right now. Um, down here, find a bug, help squash it. So I'll do that if I report anything. I've already reported a few. I played the game for about two hours tonight, and I'm really enjoying it. I've only played the first couple levels over and over again to get a feeling of the game. And play with the, some of the other characters and give you guys a better view of, or a more informed view, I guess. So, I guess I'm going to jump in. Um... I think I covered everything. Available March 17th. The game is developed by Juggernaut Games, and they were kind enough to send me a key to the game as well. So that is how I'm getting the early, early access. The early access is available for about six months is what their timeline is until it goes into a full release game. So if you're coming from six months in the future, we're beta two right now. So a little bit different than what's going on. We're going to jump into the new game, and we're going to see how it goes. There is a lot of reading in between screens, and I know some of you guys don't like uh, people reading things in the commentary on it. I'm going to do my best job I can to kind of abbreviate, but keeping uh, keeping everything together. So, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm still going to read it. Anyway, here we are, boss. Terminus 9, a hub for the sector. Maybe it's nicer inside than it looks from out here guess we'll find out together. Let's dock. Luna here is the pilot of our ship, and she's kind of our, our tour guide of the thing. She'll take us anywhere we need to go. And this is uh, Styx, or we'll find out that it's Styx here. Word is the bartender runs the wire here. He's the only one you should talk about. You should talk, you should talk to about getting some jobs. Plenty of creds to be made if we get on his good side. Time for a drink then. Aha, character creation screen. There we go. So there are currently seven different guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each of these have totally, totally different uh, gameplays. The Cyber Ninja here, he is kind of a zero from Borderlands. Uh, the game feels a lot like Borderlands a little bit too. Uh, kind of the setting, the kind of spacey sort of thing. We have Engineer. The Engineer is good for turning scrap into powerful allies. I haven't played that one yet. We have the Force Psyker which uh, defends allies and smites foes. This guy could be a fun one to have as kind of a backup. And we have hackers that are good in controlling enemies. This one's kind of fun. And the smuggler and then the soldier. Sh soldier is the one I've kind of been playing at a little bit. Hacker doesn't really deal direct damage, so he's a good support. And then we have like the, uh, the void psyker down here, which I haven't played with at all either. That's kind of kind of weird to me. Could be a lot of fun. So I'm going to do the soldier. It seems to be the easiest one for a, a standalone video here. And the soldier is Hard Slab. That's his name, but he's going to be Blitz. Blitz the soldier. Actually, it could be like Krieger the soldier, because that's warrior. Whatever. Uh, except, there we go. Aha, here we are in the saloon. This is the main, main screen of Terminus 9. We're going to go in here. And we're gonna find jobs. All right, a haggard-looking bartender is working the bar. His mech arm continuing to wipe down the pitted counter as he sizes you up. Evening. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Let me be the first to welcome you to Station Terminus Nine, Jewel of the Sector. Locals call her Sticks for short. What's your poison? Cracking skulls and getting paid are two of my favorite activities. Heard you might have a line on both. Hmm. What happened to the other eight? So there is a little backstory, a lot of backstory in this game, actually. You'll find Terminus stations scattered all around the fringes. I reckon whoever was in charge of naming them ran out of original ideas a few thousand parsecs in world from here. Can I pour you a drink, or what do you... Or you want to take the walking tour, too? 
tongue twister. Cracking skulls and getting paid, two of my favorite activities, thanks. Har, we're full up on the bar staff right now. He produces a filthy rag from his apron and rubs absent-mindedly at the counter, taking a long drag from his cigar as he stares at you evenly. I ain't here to mop, jockey. Ah, I'm just funnin' with you. It's not every day a new crawler shows up. Subtly is a trait you might want to think about cultivating, by the way. Trouble is, my wire's on the fritz. Even if I wanted to give you a job, I can't get a signal right now. Maybe you could do me a favor and grab some spare parts from the basement. I got our operational again, and then we can deal. Sure, what can I do? So the wire, the wire is the main source of power, uh, main source of information on the sticks. Unless you count that corp speak drive that passes for news in the official channels. So there's some a drivel, not a drive. I thought it was drive with exclamation point. It's also how us agents get jobs to pass to you crawlers. So we can do that. Uh, some kind of tutorial. Yeah, it's basically a tutorial. And we'll go do it so I can show you guys how to do it. Sudzy. Sudzy is the bad guy at the little boss at the end. And we can go on the mission select here. Learn before you crawl. Good. And we're going to select our team. Oh, we have to select our mission, our dude. And we're going to go into the first little dungeon. Basically the basement of the pub. Not too much, and it'll just show us WASD, Q and E, and we can move around. Q and E is strafe, maybe? Oh, that's turn. Q and E, there we go, we're strafing. Can't strafe in a hallway that has no room to strafe. And right click makes you turn around. There are some interesting things in here. I guess it's not showed up yet. <laughs> we can go over here and you can see like the panel is a little bit loose. You can click it. Aha! Uh -huh. That opens up the gate. And we can find this, ooh. Boomerang or boom slang. I want to say boomerang. Heavy shields. Uncommon. Good. I like games where you can open and find things like that. We can hit C button. We can actually look at our loadout and uh, switch it up. So this shield charges down, but it blocks more damage. Hmm. It's actually interesting. We'll do that. We can just upgrade right away. And then we can go over here and look at this door. It is locked, so we might have to find something else. Many objects can be interacted with. Watch for the interact icon, which is a little gear. We can dismiss that. Uh, hold down the right mouse, and mouse button to freeform. Yep, like that. Ooh, look at this. That is an obvious switch. <laughs> nice, and now this opened up. There we go. As a door grinds open, a small hooded figure darts through and passes you towards the exit door. It pauses at the exit and cautiously turns to face you. It appears to be a small child, probably a station urchin. Underneath the tatters of a filthy cloak, you see a glint of something shiny. Hmm. Leave the urchin alone. Now we're a big, we're a big dirty fighter, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really care too much. We're gonna leave it alone, order it to hold still, or call it. You mean no harm. Let's try that. You call it in a firm voice. You mean it no harm. Child lingers for a moment, studying you carefully, and then turns to slips into the shadows. Okay, didn't do anything. Caution. Door's locked. Oh, that door's open. Let's go talk to this door. The beams of flickering energy are being projected in front of the door ahead of you. Passive defense systems like these lasers won't block your movement, however touching them is going to hurt a lot. You can interact with most traps as you crunch cautiously, but there might be another way to disable them. Okay, how about we go disable them? So what's over here? Each class has abilities that will aid the team, both in combat and exploring. When you gain a point, you also gain one. When you gain a level, you gain an ability point. Dismiss. Character menu. Abilities. Aha! So we have uh, five slots that we can have, and then these are our trees. We can be a tactician, which is like the meat shield. We can be a demolition expert, which has frag grenades. That's actually kind of cool, splash damage, rocket strike. There's some really fun stuff. I'm gonna actually go with that, and then this one is, actually we could do this one. It's kind of like the team-based one, so it requires line up a crack shot on the target. Let's actually do a demolition, that sounds fun. I haven't done that one yet, so we'll try it. And then we can leave, hit back, and then we can click it again, and it's going to let us go. Aha! Uh -huh. Another bar door. Unexpected. Not, not really. I mean, okay. The door has been hastily barricaded with a small pile of rusted metal. Using your unique talents, you should be able to dismantle it. If you haven't already, open the character menu. Okay. Obvious thing, and blow the barricade to pieces with a grenade. And it was nice enough to open up without actually showing it. Here's the main room. Is that? Nope. No, I thought that was a spider web. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's something on the wall. That's like a little little dingleberry back there. Suspicious panel. Access panels are like the one or common sight on secure areas. The primary function is to coordinate all local security systems. Cool. Cuts both ways. You can hack the interface, you may be able to disarm the security center. Hack it. Woohoo! Hacking the system. Your programs, Thor, Loki, and Freya, 
are at the top of the screen up here. And you click and hold the enemy to activate the action. This is the first of the, basically the combat of the game. And this actually reminds me, it's Thursday night. That means Vikings is on History Channel. I gotta go watch that. So, Loki, Thor, Horsak, and Freya. Click on it, we can actually pick Trickery, stuns for 100 time units or damages. Uh, let's do the Trickery. I'm gonna stun it up so it can't do anything to us. Thor can do a Crush, generate one alarm. Alarm is at the top up here. If it gets all the way to the top, we lose basically. We'll crush it. It's not gonna be hard, now it is stunned. Freya is the healer. Restore hit points, reduce alarm by two to three. Drops your alarm down and kills it. Nice. Door is open. Ah, imagine that. Door is open. Oh, hello. A bad guy. <laughs> Real combat. Okay, we have our guy up here. That is Sudzy. Okay, that's the boss of the mission. Now, the abilities have time unit to interface. So, this is the time unit. So, up here, you can see it takes five seconds. So, it'll be after this, you'll be able to go. I want to really try this out for a grenade. I haven't played with it yet. Oh, it actually does throw a grenade. That's cool. Nice. Then he goes. We have 195 units. So, yep. It took 100. And it'll still take another 100. And now we're up. And I'll give five back. Excellent. Shoot him. Kapow. Nice. And then we have 195. He'll clean me twice again. It's refreshing. Sudsy with a cleaning mist. I look less grimy. Kabamo. You're dead. You're dead, Sudsy. Woohoo. Mission complete, victory, 13 experience out of 540. It'll take a lot of little critters to do that. Let's grab this thing. Perfect, loot, we found loot. Oh, it's a gun. Dismiss, gun. Oh, you're kidding me, rifle of the bear. I love it, it's like wow loot, isn't it? Boom slaying rifle of the bear. We're gonna take that and we're gonna upload that into our ability, nope, our loadout right now. Cause that is crazy good. That's actually the best weapon I've found in two hours of playing this game. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to leave the station, get back to home. Yes, back to sticks. I guess we're not home yet. Maybe it'll let us go. I'm going to try to get through the next mission, too, for you guys to watch, because we're at 12 minutes now. Um, I hope it'll work. So we have the store in the medical bay opened up. Doc will talk about them a little bit. Well, hey there, hotshot. Looks like Sudzy was no obstacle, and you return victorious. Why are parts in hand? You do something different with your armor? It's sparkly. <laughs> Speaking a while in the sparkle ponies. Anyway, stick your pet on new your pet cleaner bot on new crawlers? Might have trouble patching him up next time. Ha! Just my bit of way of having fun. No hard feelings. Tell me about the station. It's not much to tell interest you. We're sticks. Yep. Anyone I should meet? Tallery Hobbs is the station engineer, runs a general store. She's a mite smart, but a biz whiz when it comes to fixing up any might short not smart fixing up anything the mechanical parts okay anyone else lucas flitch is the med bay anyone else no nope. so there's two people that are worth anything here exit and we can recruit teammates too this is kind of cool so remember those other guys we had to begin with we can get we can recruit any of these for 100 units uh, we can grab the cyber ninja i really really like playing with the cyber ninja I'm gonna name him Zero. Was it Zero? Like that? Or was it actually... I think it was like this. That's, this is gonna be his name, Zero. Alright, that's less. Let's go back. And... No, it'll do more. We can go look at these other things. There's the store. Um, not yet in. Maybe. What do you have for sale? We can buy different things. Energy, that's not very good. Okay, back up. And we can upgrade different things too. So we can pop that in and we can upgrade it. You can see, well, this one actually won't upgrade. But the green ones, they have zero of three upgrades. And it makes it a little better. Catch you later. Go into the med bay and take a peek. What do you have for sale? They have med kits, obviously. Uh, medical assistance. That's reviving teammates that get knocked down and memories erased, which is restoring our ability points if we spec wrong. It's respec. Pretty cool. Pretty cool system it's got. So let's go back to the mission select. We can do distressing signals. 
Job type, investigation. Tallery Hobbs, a Styx engineer, is looking for a crew to investigate a distress beacon from coming from a salvaged junker in the area. Investigate the ship and the, for surviving crew and do anything you can to help them out. Reputation, no gain. We get 100 reward and 500 XP. So we're getting 13 per kill and we get 500 for doing this. I like it. Let's take Zero and Blitz. We're going to launch the mission and head our way into the next thing as I get a drink of water. So I've been talking and that's my chair squeaking. Uh, subtle trill from your comlink signals an incoming transmission. Luna appears in the hollow, looking annoyed as usual. What's the what in there? Atmo is low. Looks like power is two. Nothing exciting from the airlock. Seeing this is our first job in a while, try not to botch it. I got a ship burning in need of fuel and parts. Any questions on the job? What are we after again? <laughs> yep. Boss, may I just say you've got a mind that's more plastic safe than a steel trap. Noted. We're looking for whoever sent the distress beacon. They might need a part, some fuel, or maybe a lift back to the station. Either way, we'll see if we can't help out and earn ourselves a paycheck. All right. Any communication? Nobody's answering. Sounds good. Oh, hold up. Getting a call from Styx. Wire for you. Who's calling? The Corp Rep for Chimera Biopharma Solutions. You want me to patch them through? Uh, not a big fan. They've been bucking hard against all the regulations on biotech experimentation. Great. So they're like a guinea pig factory. Sure, I'll talk to him. Thanks for taking my call. I'm contacting you on behalf of my employer, as I believe our interest may be aligned currently. The ship you boarded was delivering medical supplies and belonging to my employer. The supplies were to be paid for by the recipients, but as it now seems, they will not be delivered. We would like to reclaim our property. My employer will pay you 100 credits to locate and return these supplies. Hmm. What if the crew takes claim? Be acting on the authority of Chimera Biopharma Solutions to reclaim our property. Sort of transmission, blah, blah, blah. You collect them. Uh, payment increase. Perhaps you're new to crawling. This is not how third-party contracting works, crawler. My company generously offers employment opportunity and appropriate compensation. Hmm, sounds reasonable. I'll keep an eye out for your supplies. Okay, excellent. I will ensure the credits are deposited in your account when you have secured our supplies. Thanks for your advice. All right, now nah, let us go. Now we're on a brand new spation. Spation. Space station. Space station and spation all in one. Good. Oop, hold up. We got PEs active. Someone must have activated the security system. Stay frosty. Place is probably crawling with him. There he is. Look at the cute little guy. Hey, buddy. It's like a cute little death robot. Dude, quit with the whole attacking of me. Should we, should we launch a grenade at him? That really doesn't... Oh, man. Let's just one-shot him. Oh, I like that gun. Oh, yes. This is going to be easy. It's going to be a cakewalk in the park. Aha. Uh -huh. 13 more experience. Great. No loot from the little guys. So... If we go into Minecraft, it's always the right hand rule, right? Go down, see what happens on the right. Nothing. Turn to the right. Oop, green stick. Green stick is a cred stick. Get five points. There's another one. Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Somebody's really bad at tic tac toe. Uh, really bad, because they played 15 times. <laughs> 15 on one and zero on the other. Great. That's awesome. Oh, there's some more. That's the same thing, just rotated. You'd think you'd learn how to do a cat game by now. Alright, I don't see anything else in here, so we'll keep moving on. Let's go this way. This one's boring. This is just a bunk bed. Looks cold. Put like a poster or a stuffed animal or something in there. Ah, what do we have here? Uh, Is that somebody in a... Yeah, that's definitely a Star Trek uniform. It's nerdy. What's this? Tablet? Someone was composing a message on the table when whatever happened, happened. The deal is to flush... is to flush to pass on. Even if the cap ain't down for transporting chems, what she don't know can't hurt us. I stashed the goods in my locker, passcodes in the galley, in the usual place. Remember, red, yellow, red, yellow. My contact will flag you when you get your Parsi sector for the drop. Smiths. Looks like some shady dealings between two of the crew. Alright. I don't see anything else in here. We'll continue on. Oh! Hey, little buddy. What's your name? It's a little pee. We're gonna shoot him dead. 
I really want to one hit him. Oh, we could we could probably do this, and then we'll be able to one shot him. He's got 16 left, and that is yep. Oh, we missed on one of them. One thing in this game, I'm not so sure if the accuracy isn't correct. I think it may be off. Like there is six shots in a row that I missed with a 90% accuracy uh, earlier on when I was practicing. Okay, we killed the little P. He's fine. He's dead. No. Is there anything in here? What's this? Storage container? Good. Ooh, a small med kit. We'll take that. I don't see anything else. I've looked pretty hard through this. I have a decent understanding. Next episode will be pretty much all in the blue. Uh, all in the green. Whatever the saying is. I haven't played too much in the next one. Or anything really past this. Um, so here is the galley, right? Galley is the food area. Let's just check this hallway. Doesn't look like anything's here. It said red, yellow, red, yellow. And the only thing I can think of, I haven't done this yet. I, I don't know for sure. Red, yellow, red, yellow. There's so many ketchup and mustard bottles here that I'm assuming that this is the red, yellow, red, yellow. Like these right here. So red, yellow, red, yellow. So we have one, four, eight, three. One, four, eight, three. Right? That makes sense? That's eight and then three. If that's the way it really is, then I think I think we could do it. I don't know. Right hand rule? What's up front? Oh, come on. All right. What is this? Medical supplies. Okay, this is what the biopharmochemical Chimera Biopharm Solutions are stacked here. Shipping manifest is clipped to the front. Inspect the shipping manifest. Manifest indicates that supplies are bound for Bright Hall, a colony in the region that has been struggling with an outbreak of the pox. Hmm. Small pox? Chicken pox? Hmm. Transaction records state that a bill has been paid in full to Chimera and the colony is awaiting delivery. Didn't... Did they say that they hadn't been paid yet and they wanted it back? Okay, we could leave it alone. We could collect and sell them. We could transport them to the colony to help out originally, or we could collect the supplies delivered to Chimera. Let's uh, deliver it to the colony. I think that's a good idea. You are go for Luna. Bring this shuttle around. I want to get these medical supplies to the Bright Hall colony. I want to retire on the London Londonius and buy a shiny hat. With all due respect, our agreements to and fro on crawler on the side trips cost extra fuel. 20 creds. For extra fuel to be exact. Okay, you're gonna shake me down for this? Fine. 20 credits it is. And we'll maybe we'll get some rep out of that. Rep I didn't show you guys is in this one? Yeah, there's all the reputation. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a whole bunch of different reputations. And it's really, really, really hard to pan through them all. I guess we could probably just click and drag, couldn't we? Yep. Back up. All right. So we did that. Okay. And we sent him in. Anything else around here? Hmm. Oh, another critter. There we go. Combat mode engaged. I really want to one-shot one of these guys. I don't think we'll be able to, though. Four and one. You better not miss. So look, he's got a 76% chance to hit. We missed on one of them. It's kind of kind of rough. We aren't going to take much damage from my little guy, though. He'll be okay. Excellent victory! Victory is ours. And now this thing right here, <laughs> a little bit of a bug in the game. I have reported this one. It's just kind of weird that you can walk into something that shouldn't be able to walk into. But that's fine. They'll fix it up. Med crate. Ooh, anti auto cipher. Guaranteed you will get where you should be or your credits back. Nice. I haven't seen one of those before. Uh, let's look at zero. Can we do any upgrades on you? Loadout. Accessory. So that's a robust shield. Is that better? It is. Give you that. We could give him that too. He doesn't get a gun because he's a melee. Auto cipher. And we could do our abilities, right? He has one ability point. We have assassination. 100 time units. 100% uh, weapon speed. Combine all combo points. This guy works off of combo points. We have Tempest Dash. Strike up to three random targets for your weapon. 10% damage each. Add a combo point to each damage target. Hmm. 
That's kind of neat. I haven't played around with these too much. So this is like a, a big hack and slash melee. Flip kick is kind of cool. 50% weapon damage. One. If the next character to act as an ally, you flip them in the timeline and increase damage inflicted by 30%. That's kind of cool, so you kind of switch over. We're going to play with that, because I haven't done that yet with a, a second person yet. Oh, here's the, the bridge of the ship. Anything around here? Can't interact with anything. I keep trying, because I feel like things will be different. Because things are kind of different. Like, this is different than it was last time I played it. There's some generation. In. Oh, we do have a hidden stash here. And that is a... Just a junky pistol. What's this say? I totally missed half the ship, haven't I? This is where we go. The bridge is ominously lifeless. Luna's face appears on your comm. Nothing to report out here. Escape pods unlaunched. It looks like some airlocks might be open, though. Negative contacts. No one aboard here. And the locks are purged. Creepy. You find the ship log? Logs are here. Let me see. Display. Open the log. Someone was in process of making an entry. Scanning the log entry reveals that the crew recently discovered a massive ship. The words score of a lifetime are a recurring theme. This sounds promising. Logs mention a colony ship. A big one. Registered under the name Stella Marin. Found adrift in the Gugan sector. I can't pronounce the little squigglies over the letters. Gugan, eh? That's four parsecs from here. Anyone on board? Completely abandoned. System still functioning. No apparent signs of mechanical distress. It sounds like a mint find. There's also mention of some cargo they looted from the ship. Lock coats out after that. I say you unlock the cargo hold and see what they pulled in. Anything worth taking. No crew means uh, untimely demise is our gain, right? Unless their cargo, or the demise was the cargo. All right, let's unlock the door. We're going to head back up. We're going to explore the rest of the ship, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit more here. Maybe we got it all. Um, yep, can't walk through that. I'm, I'm turned around now. I do get turned around a little bit in these games. Okay, let's just go through here. Back this way. There we go. There Blitz goes. Wait, what was this again? 1483. Okay, we're going to try it. Because the, the little stuff's down here. Here's the lockers right here. Is there anything else this way? I, oh, there is something. Cred stick. Awesome. And those dinosaurs? <gasps> I got toy dinosaurs. I want a toy dinosaur. Dude, I would love me a toy dinosaur on my desk right next to me. All right, here's the lockers. Crew's personal lockers appear to be intact and untouched. Whatever happened to the crew, no one seems to take in anything of value. Investigate the locker labeled Con Sacro. Contents locker, neatly arranged, nothing of interest or value. Personal effects belong to the captain. Locker of Jablonski. Torrent of trash, candy wrappers pour out of the locker. As you open it, besides some artwork of questionable taste, there is nothing of interest in the locker. Hmm, interesting. Then we have Smiths. Beneath a stack of manifest orders, you uncover a small hidden compartment sealed with a magic magic keypad. This is the, this is our guy right here. Here's our Dingleberry. Okay, take a look at the magic keypad. And what was it? One, one, four, eight, three. Right? One, four, eight, three. And our neatly arranged ketchup. Ah, the exit the slice turns green and you hear a soft click of the lock disengaging. We actually got it. That's cool. Opening the compartment reveals a small stash of recreational chems. You could offload these at a station for a decent price. Yep, we're taking them. Ooh, street chems. Choo-choo, take a ride into the crazy train. Take them. All right, and then Nikos. Starship candy bars, neatly. Hey, <laughs> grab a candy bar. Thanks. Sweet, literally. Okay, let's leave. Oops, wrong button. Leave the lockers alone, because we did them all. Nice. Now we have something in here. Well, if that isn't ominous, as I'll get out. If I wouldn't have played this before, I would have guessed that this is a boss fight. What in the... What's the word, boss? Is it antiques? Hot goods? Spices? I love spices. It's a crate. Crate of what? One cargo crate. Uh-huh. You're kidding me, right? You're such a joker. Ha-ha. <laughs> no joke. I'll see what's in it. Thanks. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, activate. No, oh, activate now. Fumbling with the latch on the crate, you hear a faint whirling from within. The sound of machinery coming slowly to life. You hesitate with one hand resting on the lid. Open. Oh, we're going to ready our weapons. There we go. You unholster your weapons and level them 
on the crate, then you cautiously begin to unhinge the latch. As the latch releases, you feel a strong push from the lid within the crate. You steal your grip and barely manage to keep the lid closed. Let's open it quickly! You fling the crate open, suddenly revealing a nightmarish jumble of mechanical lids that are starting to unfold. It's pretty clear that this thing wasn't designed with diplomacy in mind. Luckily, you've got the jump on it. And start attacking before it's fully deployed. Kill it, kill it, kill it with fire! Here we are. Alright, combat mode engaged. Blitz, my man! Oh, he got... Oh, we can shoot, we can do the grenade. That's going to be less damage than this thing. 2, 8, 14, nice, a crit. And then we can use the kickflip. Uh, Blitz isn't next in line. So we'll do this. And we'll make sure Blitz gets next in line like it will be now. Okay, and then we'll kickflip him. I think that's how it worked. It might not have. Oh, it might have. We're going to shoot him. Miss. And now we can hit again. Perfect. Good. Enemy. Thunderclap. Ooh, we got two in a row. Excellent. So we're going to kickflip again. That should put me at the end. Right? Yeah, switches me around. We can shoot him. That works ridiculously well. I really like that. We've done some good damage to this guy. Wow, that hit hard. <laughs> oh, he's going to hit again. How come you can do that? I can't. Can I kickflip? Yeah, we'll kickflip. That'll do a little damage. Put him right after Blitz. We'll shoot him with Blitz. Kablamo. Oh, and it killed him. This kills the robot. Nice. 22 XP. Excellent. Kick, click to continue. Aha. Uh -huh. As the sparks die down, the disabled bot is slumped in front of you. It's not completely fried, but the damage looks severe. At any rate, it's down for the count and you're standing. Luna's voice crackles to life beside you. Looks like you ran into some trouble after all. Nothing I couldn't handle. Any idea what the thing is? I'm no expert, but that's some high-level robotics work. Definitely not off the rack, rack tin, if you catch my meaning. I don't. Uh, off the rack tin? Uh, nope. Might be worthwhile to cart back and see if Baby Wrench Jockey can do anything about it. Good idea. Meet back at the airlock. All right, so let's head back to the airlock. Um, we have to do a couple more things before the game will get saved. So we'll head back. We exit, right? We exit. There we go. Your mission is complete. Do we want to exit? Yes, we do. Now, I tried before to stop right here, leave the game, and come back in. And then I, I couldn't continue because I had I, I alt f 4 out. But we completed the mission. We got 500 experience for that. Level us up to level 2. And we can continue now. We got our money too. Excellent. As you walk to the station, Tallery Hobbs appears, face scrunched up with worry. Thanks for checking out the distress beacon. Too bad we didn't find any. Anyone. Hope they got out okay. Her eyes wander to the jumbled hunk of metal slung over your shoulder and light up. That's that's something else. You find that on ship? May may I have a quick quick look? Go right ahead. It takes your time inspecting the bot and its core, gadgets and gizmos extracted from various tool pouches and pockets take numerous readings on the thing's circuitry and mechanical systems. That's quite a beast you got there. I've never seen anything like it. Fact is, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't exist at all. Should or shouldn't ain't my concern. Fact is, it exists. It got in my way, and I paid the price. Right. I just mean based on what I'm seeing, it looks like it might be dealing with a level f level 567 AI. Strictly forbidden under UFP council rules. Oh, is it worth anything? I know it just tried to kill you and all, but it might be pretty handy to have on your crew. For 200 creds, I'll be willing to fix it up. Yeah. Fix a beast up. Now it can be recruited at Doc Sam Saloon. Is it safe? Totally safe. Maybe. Shows symptoms of wanting to eradicate and plan plague of humanity or anything like that. I'll just fry it with my plasma torch. Okay. And tell me about the level AI. You do what you want in business. You can agree you won't even dabble in that stuff. Tell me about the different levels. Sure enough, measure of how advanced it is. So seven is the highest. Household drones are one through four. Other levels five and six are more advanced. Advanced adaptive capabilities. And seven is the ability to learn and change with circumstances. That's anything that approaches or exceeds the level of human cognitive abilities and consciousness. It's kind of stuff that scares people, in other words. Is it safe? 
Yeah, totally. Sounds good. Exit out, and that is going to do it for this video. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and stick around. Appreciate the support, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.